Donna's house today. And today my special guest is Miss Willow. Willow is a 10 year old papillon without the ears. She doesn't have the big butterfly ears, but she does have beautiful ears. Well, she has them. They just don't stand out. They just don't stand out. <laughs> yeah. But look at that. Isn't she beautiful? She was, uh, we got her from Anderson County where they seized her um, from a home because of neglect. Oh, poor Sam. I know. She is the most sweetest, cuddliest. <laughs> She's put it behind her. <laughs> the sweetest, cuddliest yeah. little lap dog you are ever going to find. I don't know. Are you going to wake your little tail for me? No. <laughs> Sometimes if you baby talk me and talk really sweet, my little nub gets going. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. No, but she's, she's just, she's really, really sweet. She does have a little bit of flea allergy, which is healing quite nicely, but she will most definitely need to be kept on a really good flea protocol. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I know. I know. <laughs> We had a good dental done, Donna. Yes, we yes, did have a dental teeth done. Teeth. She did have a severe, uh, severe teeth, but then we got them all cleaned up. Yes, we did. And she was so thankful for that too. See that look? That's a thankful look. There you go. She's like, thank you, everybody. And she's been eating regular food, just regular mix. I think she was grateful. Where are you going, Chihuahua thing? Um, sorry, we have a Chihuahua trying to photobomb. Sorry, Maggie. Um, so tell us, she had an inguinal hernia? She did. Can you explain what that is? Um, there's a hole that happens in the, um, let's see if I can kind of show you guys where it's at. You see, she's got a little stitch right uh -huh. here. So she had a little hole, like right here, that was allowing, um, some of, you know, possibly some of her intestines and stuff to kind of like slip through this hole. Um, and that can cause problems if, if the intestines get kind of stuck there, they can get strangulated and then you have a lot of other problems. So the hole was, was repaired. Doc went in and kind of, you know, sutured up the hole and then sutured the skin. So that's no more a problem. It's not a problem anymore. And that's a birth defect, right? It's a birth defect. Okay, yeah. but it won't affect her and it won't come back. Nope. Okay. It's all fixed and taken care of. All fine. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. So what kind of home you think Willow's looking for? I think Willow's looking for a nice, quiet home where she can sit and be snuggled and cuddled and rocked like a little baby. <coughs> yes. Huh. That sounds good. What do you think, Willow? <coughs> so, me, if you're looking, for, you know, if you know anybody who's looking for an older, sweet, already mature and level-headed girl where they don't have to go through any puppy stages or anything like that, they just want a nice companion to sit and watch TV with and share the rest of their lives with. Willow should go. I don't know if you can see her little tongue sticking out. <laughs> right? See, that's all I want. Just want somebody to hold me. Just want to be sweet. Gets along well with big dogs and little dogs. Me? Haven't tried it with cats. Or did you try it with cats in your office? I don't know if we've tried it with cats or not, but I don't see her being, you know, strike me as one that would have a problem. Not much prey drive going on here, no, kiddo. No, no. Okay. I just want to be snuggled. This is it. Sounds good. Live at lunch. Thank Bye you guys guys. so much. Mm.